Hi, everyone. We're here today for newbie bite number eight, string manipulation. Let's jump straight into it. Today is going to be all about methods. You can think of methods as functions that are associated with a certain type of object. You can use methods by utilizing the dot notation. And so you have whatever object you're working with, you type a period or the dot, and then the name of the method followed by parentheses, since it is in fact a function. We're going to focus only on some string methods. Currently, there are 47 built-in string methods. Let's head over to the REPL and see what this looks like. I fire up the REPL. Let's start by introducing you to one more idea here, and this is the function called dir. Dir is short for directory. It's going to list in alphabetical order all of the attributes and methods that are associated with whatever object we type inside the parentheses. So in this case, that is a string object. I press enter. Don't be scared. Take a deep breath. Resist the urge to immediately power down your computer. Let's take a look at this. There's some crazy looking things with underscores everywhere. For today's video, we're going to go ahead and ignore that. And we're going to start looking just at these ones right here. Starts with and so on. Those are all names of available methods on strings. So if I start with something like this is a string. And I can access any of these by saying dot, and then I choose a method. I'm going to start with upper. It returns a new string that is all capital letters this time. We have exited out of the REPL, and let's go ahead and fire up that input.py program that we had from the last video. Here we have an object called username, and we're storing some input from the user in that object. And this time, I'm going to add a method to the end of my f string, and I'm going to say dot lower. So now when I save my program and I run it, it's going to ask me for a username. And I'm going to type in my full name this time. I press enter and look at what it returned. Using that dot lower method takes the username that I typed in and now it's printing out my name with all lowercase letters. Let's try one more different one and then it'll be your turn. Fire up my favorite editor, NeoVim. And let's go ahead and change lower. Run it one more time with Python. This time, if I type my name in all lowercase letters, and I press return, it will actually return it to me capitalized the way that it should be. Again, I highly recommend heading over to a Python REPL, explore, see if you can figure out what any of these do. Good luck on today's bite.